space domination. The past century has seen it all, from just being able to step into the moon to searching outer planets for life. And finally, the space race has intensified. As the globe enters a new era of space exploration and utilization, there is much to be gained, including priceless research, enormous revenues, technical advancement, and political influence. The initial space race between the United States and the Soviet Union took place in the 1950s and 1960s, and the entire world watched with eager anticipation. Since then, space exploration has increased collaboration and development has typically been more gradual. Although less striking, the technical advancements are nonetheless amazing. Things have been altering at a very rapid pace. Space is becoming more and more accessible. Private companies, schools and colleges, and developing countries can launch spacecraft. China has made its move and is soon going to launch its manned space station, and humans are expected to return to the moon in 2024. Not just this, several new projects are underway, to send astronauts to planets like Mars, mine asteroids, build massive global satellite constellations, and even transmit solar power from space down to our planet. Spacefaring Nations It is not surprising that the United States still holds the top spot, spending more on public spaces than any other country. But other countries are picking up the pace as well. China is currently ranked second, far ahead of Russia, after decades of careful investment and planning. The runs beneath these space superpowers are filling up faster. There are currently around 70 other countries that have active space programs, ranging from powerful ones like Germany, India, and France to aspirational ones like Iran and the United Arab Emirates, whose ambitious governments succeeded in launching an orbiter to Mars in 2021. Even countries like Angola and Peru are participating with their own satellites. However, it's important to note that just 10 nations have their own launch capability, which means strategic partnerships are very crucial. The private sector enters the space race. Governments aren't the only players in the new space race, of course. The commercial space industry experienced tremendous growth in 2021 when Virgin and Blue Origin joined SpaceX as spacefaring businesses. With multiple flights to the International Space Station ISS, under its belt and a quickly growing network of Starlink Internet satellites, SpaceX has firmly established itself as a major player in the space race. While critics have referred to Blue Origin and Virgin's flights as billionaire jaunts to space, the two businesses also want to carry scientific payloads. Importantly, all three companies, along with several hundred other space-related enterprises worldwide, are reducing the cost of space access with the help of breakthroughs like reusable rockets, tiny satellites, and perhaps even private space stations. In the past 20 years, the price of a launch to the International Space Station has decreased by a factor of four, while the cost of placing a satellite in low Earth orbit has decreased by 20 times. This helps to explain why there are now a significant number of satellites orbiting the Earth. Since 2010, there have been nearly five times as many live satellites above us, or about 5,000. This is important. As nations and corporations launch more satellites into orbit, the price and delivery time of useful data to governments, organizations, and ultimately normal citizens will also decrease. Are there any rules and regulations to be followed? With so much going on, developing guidelines for space utilization must take precedence in the upcoming 10 years. The 1967 Outer Space Treaty still exerts considerable influence over space. The peaceful use of space has been successfully ensured, but none of the recently growing commercial issues has been addressed. Together, public and commercial organizations will need to establish norms for everyday operations like traffic control and collision avoidance as well as future concerns like mining or energy production. What's next in space exploration? There are enormous quantities of priceless minerals and metals on celestial objects like the moon and asteroids. 
Many nations and businesses are currently exploring solutions, even though the technological and financial difficulties of getting them back to Earth are likely to remain unresolved for the next decade or two. What about Mars? Russia and Europe will begin the second phase of their joint ExoMars mission in 2022 by sending their own rover to search for evidence of previous life after the US and China were successful in landing rovers on the Red Planet in 2021. Exploration of space would advance the economy, boost raw materials, and contribute to a better future. Space exploration and the advantages it brings for medical and information technology should not be disregarded in the future. But will the exponential cost be worth it for the benefits it brings to us? That's a topic for another day. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to get more content.